What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video that you may consider a throwaway one, however it may be useful to you if you're looking for this. So today I'll be showing you how you can change Valorant accounts if you have the game installed already. Now of course, you may be wondering why on earth would you actually want to do this, and while earlier on I came into the need to actually log out and change accounts without starting up the game in the first place, don't exactly remember why I got to that issue, but I did and I figured out a way of getting around it. So first of all, if you'd like to change accounts within Valorant, simply start up the game. And then when you're in game in the top left, simply open up this menu and the second option on the bottom will be log out. Clicking that will close your game and boot you back to the launcher asking you to log in as such. So I'll go ahead and log in and I'll tell it to remember my password. Of course, if you're not asking it to remember your password, then going through this whole method is basically pointless because simply restarting the game will make sure that you need to put your password in again. So either way, we'll wait for this to finish. And then there we go. As you can see, we're back in the main menu logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of the game. The next time that I launch it up, it'll automatically put me onto that main menu screen where I can then choose to log out. However, assuming that you aren't able to get to that main menu screen or something else, there is a way to do this from the file system. How? Well, it's rather simple. Hold start, press R and type in percentage app data percentage and hit enter. Then we'll go back a folder and we'll go into local. Then we'll look for Riot Games, open it up, Riot Client and then data. Then you'll see this file over here as well as a cookies folder. This file over here contains your login information. No, it doesn't save your password, but it keeps the cache information in here. All you need to do is simply either rename this file or delete it entirely, which I'll do now. I'll go ahead and open up Valorant again. And instead of the game opening and dropping me onto the main menu, you can see it regenerates the file. This time it's two kilobytes smaller and it's asking me to log in again. And as you can see, we're back on the main menu, now logged into our account again. If we were to close the game, reopen it, we'd still be logging into the same new account details that we put in there. Either way, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name has been Technobi here for Troubleshoot. If you came looking for this video, hopefully it answered your question. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.